So away we go with a lively uh, looking bunch. Well, several didn't make the starts. And I reckon not many more. They make the finish. So three again that matter. Lotus gone here on the home stroke. Several went clattering into the uh, scoreboard fencing. One, two, three. We'll set one of them. The home straight. Aston goes around in two, four, six. Lennon is not having a good night. And one hundred. It was three for the price of two there. Well, you're a Tesco specials, Matt. So as we uh, go through then, lap number two about to uh, get underway, and the leader is set thirty-two. Mark Luca, eighty-eight. Uh, Tim goes on his way still in the vintage piece here in the home straight. Look at that, 1947 or 1951, it doesn't really matter, does it? That really is something very, very special, the uh, Christ of the Lux Winter Hearse. You can see you in that, Mr. Stadder, then maybe the back of it. Uh, so then, the uh, top three, 32, 211, and his brother. 624 has gone round here on the home straight, so it's lap number three, 32 from 211, we're the top two, and then 281, so we'll try and find the leader there, he's just gone past you, so 32 and 211, the top two, uh, side by side, 281 is third, he's just gone past, and Charlie's going better than this, I'm glad to say, meanwhile, hashtag six, pots is back, gets round by 100, hold on tight, here he goes, and has the arm case survived, I think it may just have done. I'm not sure that uh, McDougall has so much longer. 246 thinks about going back. There's the leader, 32, Podge in front. 211, 281, 204 is next as they head around the turn. 883 is next as Bertie attacks 88. And the uh, vintage piece has been uh, stopped. Cray Ingram goes charging in as well. As 100 rejoins after having that uh, tussle of the hearse away to our right. And may have finished that off, uh, at least for the time being. Nathan Roberts is still going in 4, 5, 6, 88 now. Sets about his uh, attacker for a spot of revenge here on the entrance set to the home straight. As for the race, it's only lap 6, believe it or not. Still 32 leads. Trying to pick up where he is actually on the track. Down towards the house and bend. Still the top two having that battle. 2 11. Uh, Jamie Pole is with him. So 32 and 2 11. Having a battle up ahead. 3 4 1. He did make the start in the end. It was touch and go. So 32 and 2 11. Here they come on the entrance of the home straight. And things are getting blocked up ahead. And the lead of 32 is gone. So 2 11. The new leader. Jamie Poe from Derby. Not much to do in Derby on a Saturday night, let's be honest. Good enough stop car racing. So 2.11 when Jamie leads away. 5.06 is up to third. So 2.11 leads. The second place driver is 2.81 Aaron Poles. So a pair of poles. And we with a red flag, Mr. Stardust. So red flags up and showing. So red flags are out and showing that we're on lap number eight at the time. So there we go then. Six laps remaining from uh, the time they pass us. And there's not that many going. Problems here on the home straight is 281 and 506 out of it. And 506 is definitely out of it now. So, Mr. Stardew, it'll be five next time. And there's not going to be too many finishes of this. All of a sudden, Nathan Roberts is now second. Two double one. Still leads. Jamie on his way. Five lap signal. Nathan up to second in four, five, six. Has come through the carnage. And 281 is back in, in third. So at the moment, Aaron is uh, going to qualify as well. Charlie in 204. 178 has been out on several occasions and now 506 likewise. So just a case of avoiding the uh, potential lurkers. The 
lad Larky is the word of the night a few weeks ago, if memory serves me correct, there might be a few more of that uh, this evening. So the top three making their way to the far sides. A fair gap between them, Charlie King in 204 is next. 178 has uh, more than one problem with that car. We go through three laps to go. So 211 the race leader, looks like he's gone. 456 here as well. And then uh, 281 to those three are well clear. The refs look more interested in uh, stopping themselves rather than perhaps the uh, three that are running in the positions at the moment. But stranger things have happened and uh, here comes 211 who's now going to find a way through. We have two racing laps to go. 174 is still there as a bad marker. There's uh, Tom from Storrington, another man uh, from uh, West Sussex. So 211 clear and Nathan Roberts, they uh, almost stopped him there, he's uh, got going again. The other pole is still third. So through goes the race leader with a lap to run. 211 now miles clear. Nathan is back going in 456. The third place driver has rather got it wrong. Can he get going again? So there's only two left on the far side. 281 will try and get through into third. So 211 coming through, but he's going to find a way past. And right around the outside, the place to go. That's the way to do it, as someone once said. And it will be a race win for 211. Who takes it? Barbish is Jamie Pohl, who wins it. Nathan gets through as well. He will be second. And the only other one still running. He's going to get here. Officially, I think he probably has another lap to go, but. Uh, they're so far back, there is 281, Aaron Pohl, there's nothing else going, so I think in fairness uh, that will be given to him. So the red flags go out and complete the action on the second last chance race. We only needed three, a good job, we only got three. Uh, they are the three that will go through and qualify for the feature race, which is now not too far away.